So I welcome all of you tonight. This new Senator Asuko Ekpenyong is here with us. And I have a kindred linkage with him. We are both gunners. So when I'm going to... So even when Arsenal is doing poorly and our heart is breaking and we cannot eat dinner, we remain in Arsenal. So he is a diehard gunner as I welcome the senior senator Asuko Ekpenyong on stage for a good message. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Permit me to rest on existing laid down protocols. Ladies and gentlemen, I consider it a privilege to address you at your 16th annual banking and finance conference. I am aware that this is a dinner and that many of us are just here to grab a quick meal and go. So I'll keep this as short, precise, concise as possible. The theme of this year's conference is aptly titled Nigeria's Economic Growth and Empowerment, the role of the financial services industry. I say aptly titled because the theme aligns very well with the focus of the incumbent government of the Federation and the 10th Senate, which I lead in the deliberate effort to rejig our national economy and bring it to the point where it will serve the interest of our dear country. As you all know, the focus of this administration is to renew the hope of Nigerians in their country. This means restoring Nigerians to a state of well-being where they are capable of serving the needs of their families and also achieving their personal growth and development plans. This implication of vision is that we have to take difficult and painful decisions that will take us through tough times, but with the assurance of better times ahead. From the onset of this administration, the government has set its targets. The government was clear on its focus, and together we are focused on achieving set targets. And I want to assure you that from the effects of the decision taken so far, we are on the right track. There's no doubting that the journey will be rough. But as Harry Song said in his, in his uh, famous song, after the reggae's, we shall play the blues. Ladies and gentlemen, I must at this point point out that the journey towards national recovery and economic rebirth has begun. And this is where we all need the banking and finance community. You have a very serious role to play. We need you to play a central role in guaranteeing access to credit for Nigerian businesses. We need you to effectively manage risk. Nigeria needs you to ensure transparent capital allocation as well as facilitate job creation. Nigeria also needs you to create and sustain transparent and effective payment systems and financial infrastructure. You should also know that it is within your powers to grow wealth and investment opportunities in our country so as to improve our national financial inclusion profile. Well, this is, what this means is that the banking sector ought to be at the forefront of efforts to empower Nigerians and provide individual businesses and governments with access to capital, financial products, and services. As you all know, capital is a scarce commodity. And when available, it is never enough. However, as managers of capital, I expect that your members will facilitate the progressive allocation of capital from savers to borrowers to promote investment and grow the economy. I have no doubt by mobilizing savings through financial intermediaries and investment companies, you will be able to channel funds to, produ to productive activities such as infrastructure projects, entrepreneurship, and innovation. I also believe that as leaders and operators of financial institutions, you are in a better position to offer credit of various forms to individuals and businesses. I know that you know better than I do that access to credit enables individuals to invest in education, coaching homes, and startup businesses. 
Through this, you will be playing a role in supporting government's efforts to expand the economy. The positive thing here is that improved access to credit will stimulate economic activities, create employment opportunities, and foster entrepreneurship. As we all know, government cannot go on it alone. Again, you are in a better position to help the economy maintain steady growth by helping Nigerian businesses to mitigate risk through insurance and risk management strategies. Protection of businesses from unforeseen events such as accidents, natural disaster, or illness will promote economic resilience, stability, and investor confidence, much in the same way that a very efficient payment system will ensure smooth transactions and facilitate economic activities. I want to say on this note that the 10th Senate remains readily available to partner with the Institute and the banking sector to promote bills and pass laws that will engender stronger economic growth. We are always available. We have committees on finance and the Committee of Banking and Financial Institutions. Bills can be proposed to them and we'll be working with the executive as well. I know that we, I have not forgotten that we are here for a dinner, so kindly permit me to end it here before the food gets cold. Thank you very much and God bless you. <laughs>